coping with breakups and divorce, that's what our next guest does. Yes, in fact, she wrote a book on this very subject matter. She hopes to help readers transition from heartbreak to happiness. And she joins us now with more on the book and something she calls life spring cleaning. So we have Sara Davis's Davison joining us now. How are you, Sara? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me today. Of course. So this is a subject matter that is deeply personal for you. You were working as a life coach and then something happened in your life that you weren't expecting. Can you walk us through your journey? Yes, absolutely. So pretty much overnight, I found out that my husband, we've been married only three years, uh, no longer wanted to be married to me. And not only that, he'd met someone else he was madly in love with. And within a couple of weeks, he had started a, a new family with her. Um, our son was only one at the time. So overnight, I became a single mum. Uh, we also worked together, so we had a business together as well. So a lot of life changes, mm. and I was devastated. Didn't see it coming. Um, but as a coach, I thought, well, I should be able to cope with this, right? But yeah. no, um, anyone listening will know that it is one of the most devastating life events that can happen. Yeah. So after a, a couple of months of being devastated and, and mm. calling my mom and my mm. friends, I decided, you know, it's time to take my power back and mm. turn this around. You have a choice. This is gonna either mm. define me for the rest of my life mm. or I can do something more positive with it. And that's what I do now. So, so how does one do that? I'm sure it's outlined very well in the book, but what is some advice that you can give to someone who might be dealing with that right now? Yeah, well, it's coming into spring, right? So. Mm. Spring cleaning your ex out of your life is a great place to start at this time of year. A lot of us want to declutter our homes, but detoxing your ex out of your environment will really help you and stop you from being stuck. So there might be things around your home, if you wander around, that trigger some of those painful pangs, that heartbreak. Uh, maybe you don't really realize it consciously, but it might be you know, the mug you have your coffee in in mm. the morning, or it might be a t-shirt that you bought on a trip together, or a lamp or a piece of furniture. So notice what they are and move them out for now. Box them up. Don't burn them. Don't throw them in the trash. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that sounds <laughs> Not like yet. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe in a couple of months when, right. the, when the emotions have dialed down a little bit, for Got sure. It. Well, okay. speaking of those emotions, you also recommend acknowledging your anger. Why is that important? I think a lot of times emotions will keep us stuck as well. So yeah. it's about identifying specifically that negative emotion. So if it is anger, noticing what that is and trying to attach a new meaning to it. Mm. So rather than why are they doing this to me? Why don't they love me anymore? What's wrong with me? Yeah. Asking more empowering questions like, what can I do right now to move this forward? Or what's good about this right now? Which can be tough for a lot yeah. of people. They say, nothing, sorry, nothing's good. Actually, maybe you're learning uh, some resilience, or maybe this is a chance to redesign your life just the way you want it. Yeah. So it can be a really positive spring clean of your life at this stage. Okay. Now you mentioned that you talked with your mom, with friends when you were going through this. How important is that to talk to someone about what you're going through? Super important. Although friends and family can get a little bit fed That's, up with uh, it, yeah. right? Mm. A lot of my clients yeah. say, Sarah, my friends are done. They're like, you know, it's six months now, yeah. you should have moved on. Yeah. And that's why I created all the support that I created because people need support groups. There's right. support groups for everything else in life, but not heartbreak until we came along, so. Okay. So you have a support yeah. group that people can uh, tap into? Yes, it's an online support group. So we have people from all over the world. They're called Heartbreak to Happiness. You can dial in for a Zoom session with one of my trained coaches, because I also train other people to do what I do as okay. well and become coaches. Sure. So yeah, they're great. And you find your tribe and yes. you can hear stories, share yours and get advice, which can really be a turning point for a lot of people. So in addition to your book, uh, Uncoupling, and uh, those support groups, you also have a podcast. Can you I tell do. us about that podcast? Yeah. Yeah, super excited. We've just launched series two of Heartbreak to Happiness. Yeah. Um, my first guest was one of the Pussycat Doll founding members, Kami Bakar. Um, and it's all about the pain to power journey, whether that's heartbreak or any other trauma. You know, I strongly believe that it's not what happens to you that defines you. It's mm -hmm. what you do about it that makes right. you the person you are. So they're all journeys from that pain to power, heartbreak to happiness. And I'm, I imagine you can get the book anywhere books are sold or where can, where can they find it? Yeah, online. It's on Amazon as well. So that makes it easy for everyone. Yeah. And it's also available as an audio. So perfect. Oh, I love nice. that. I love, yeah. I love audio books. Yeah, too. me too. Yeah. Are there any other projects that you're working on that we should know about? Oh, yeah. We, I always have projects going on. <laughs> um, we're doing a lot of work with businesses as well, going into businesses and supporting their employees. Mm -hmm. I also have a live retreat. So if anyone fancies flying over to the UK, it's Ooh. in a beautiful country hotel in June. Yeah. Uh, two days live with me. It's the the fastest way I know to help you fast track through your re recovery and your breakup. Okay. So, yeah. 
Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for these practical tips. They were lovely. Oh, thanks for having and me. And safe travels back yes. to London. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you so much. Soon. Thank you. So if you would like to learn more about this book, again, Uncoupling, you can visit Sarah's website, which is saradavidson.com. It's listed there on your screen.